saying last night, even though I've, like, last night was my 51st show tonight, I'm gonna even though I've done that song with those fire flames 52 times every night, I'm like, it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. <laughs> I expect it to blow up in a ball of flames. Thank you so much. Hello guys, so normally, I'll, I'll take selfies from a distance. Oh, oh shit, you're videoing me, well, I, I can write crap now. <laughs> and so normally I would absolutely stop and chat and all of that, and I want to hear all about your life and be the nosy person that I am. However, I am hanging on by a thread trying not to get COVID. Everyone I know, everyone I love, happy birthday, my angel, you look beautiful. That dress, I would wear that dress, I love it. Everyone that I know, that I work with, Oh, you've got a serious face. Oh, oh happy 60th birthday. Happy 60th birthday. You look lovely. You look, I felt like we were doing the blue steel then from Zoolander. Anyway, so everyone I know, everyone I know, everyone I work with has fucking COVID. So, it's a miracle that I haven't had it yet. And I really do love chatting to you, but you know, I don't want to... I've never done that many selfies. Hello, everybody. <laughs> if I get sick, I might have symptoms and then I can't do my show and I will be damned if I cancel any more of these shows. So that's why I didn't like kiss you and stuff like that, make out. But anyway, what I normally ask them, oh, nice shirt. Oh, look at you, fashionista. Um, what I normally ask them at the end of our chat of getting to know each other is what was one of your favourite memories from when you were younger? Hello, hello, hello. Newly How am I out of breath just for walking up flat stairs? <laughs> I think I get scared with the fire, like I said. Anyway, and sometimes they give really well thought out ones, but I think it must be quite hard to be on the spot asked, give me one of your favourite memories. But, um, so they're whatever, but I try and do a different favourite memory of mine every show, which I'm definitely running out of memories. <laughs> and it's hard to remember things, period, really. Um, but last night I was telling the show that I was making, um, like, individually wrapped amenities for some guests of mine that are going to come and stay at my house soon. And I want to pretend like it's a hotel. I've obviously got a lot of time on my hands, that's why I have the time and energy to do something like that. But I was, like, putting a guide together of things to do in LA, and obviously I'm not from LA. But it got me thinking about if I did one for someone in London, it would be like a thousand pages because I'm from London, I am London, I know everything there is about London, where to go and stuff like that. And it made me think of one time when I was about 10 years old, um, my mum, I was like, I want to, you know, you know when you're going around whatever city you're from really, and um, there's tourists visiting, and I used to always be so curious what they were coming to London to look at because. I'd seen Buckingham Palace a million times, I'd drive past it all the time. I'd seen Trafalgar Square all the time, the London Eye all the time, because it's just, it is where you're from. So you don't really think much of it when you, you, know, when you see it every day. So one day my mum let me have the day off school, and we were tourists in London. So we got on all the open top buses in London, mm. and we went around to all the landmarks, and I actually learnt things about, my mum would always do fun things like that, and make me see things through a different perspective. So that's my favourite.